Hey, what is going on? It's Nolan from Prime Autotainment. I just got done driving and reviewing the 2020 Toyota Corolla XSE sedan. And I'm gonna give you just a couple quick takes of what I like and what I don't like about this car. So a couple things that really stand out to me that I like about it is the new styling that Toyota went with. They definitely got more aggressive, but also more elegant at the same time. One of those features is the headlights up front. You've got some really nice LED headlights. I'm kind of a headlight snob. Uh, it really completes the car, especially with the daytime running lights. Even around the side of the car, the car just completes the look with the, the side skirt and the rear. I think the rear is the favorite part of my favorite thing about this car that I like. And another thing is the interior uh, has some improved materials. One thing that really stood out to me is that the front seats are definitely more comfortable than the outgoing generation. And then probably the biggest thing that I really like about this car that stands out to me the most, especially compared to the last generation, is it just drives better. It drives better, handles better, it rides better. You have a, a different suspension setup. So driving this car really made a big difference to me and it's something that really stood out. And of course, if you're looking for a Corolla, you're gonna want uh, an efficient, comfortable, nice riding car because it's gonna be a commuter car for a lot of people and it does all of that really well. Now, on the flip side, you know, a couple things that I didn't really necessarily like about the car is the fact that you are kind of stuck with a certain engine option depending on what trim you get. I think you should just get the best and most efficient on all of them but maybe that's just asking for too much. On the inside, there's not really as much storage space as I was hoping for, especially considering some of the newer class, or some of the newer cars in this class are, are bumping that up and even giving you a little bit more space. The, the back seat space is okay, the cargo space isn't all that great, and up front, there's just not a whole lot of space to put some stuff and to kind of store some things. But really, other than that, I can't complain a whole lot with this Corolla. I've, I've enjoyed my time with it so far, and I think the biggest thing is that it's just gonna do what you ask it to do. So there you have it. There's a couple things that I took away from driving and reviewing this 2020 Toyota Corolla. I have a drive and review uh, in the description below. Please find that video link down there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Nolan with Prime Autotainment, and we'll catch you next time. One more thing before you go, I've added links in the description below to some of the best-selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done. You can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comments section below.